hi guys my name is nancy and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a simple satin skirt the name of this fabric is called a duchess fabric and i made use of two yards for a plus size person you should make use of two and a half yards for the purpose of this style i'll be drafting the skirt on a single piece pattern paper the first line here is called the starting line for this skirt i'll be attaching a one inch elastic band to the waist circumference of this skirt and the elastic casing should be 2 inches wide. So now I placed my tape from this line to mark 2 inches. To extend this point. Alright, this second line is the actual waistline of my skirt. It's why above that line is the waistband for the skirt. Now I placed my tape on the actual waistline vertically downwards to mark my hip line. It's actually a high waist skirt. So my hip line is 9.5 inches and I extended this point. Now to mark the full length of my skirt, I placed my tape from the waistline vertically downwards. And the full length of my skirt is 27 inches. So I added 1 inch allowance to the end which made it 28 inches altogether. And extended this line. Now let's assume that this side of the paper is the folded side of my fabric, right? Now on the starting line, I placed my waist circumference divided by 4. I added one inch sewing allowance to the side for the waist that and the mean allowance for this skirt is one and a half inches by the side now on the hip circumference line i placed my hip circumference divided by four and also added the one and a half inches sewing allowance to the side now i went ahead to connect my waist circumference to the hip circumference now to get the M circumference for this skirt, I'll place my tape on the hip circumference with the sewing allowance included. Here I have 11 inches. I went ahead to mark 11 inches on the M circumference as well to connect the hip circumference to the M circumference. The next step is to place the waist that my nipple to nipple distance is 6 inches. I divided it by 2 and I had 3 inches. Now I added half inch sewing allowance to that 3 inches which made it 3 and half inches and I placed it from this side of the fold on the waistline to mark 3 and half inches. Now I want the length of the waist that to be 6 inches long. On the top of the dart line I marked half inch on both sides to connect the points to the end of the dart line as shown. Alright, this is the waist dart of the skirt. Now, to achieve the flare on the sides or bottom of the skirt, I would extend the dart line vertically downwards to the end of the skirt. The next step is to cut out the skirt. Now to achieve the flare on the bottom side of the skirt, I would slit the dart length from the end upward. And on getting to the end of the actual dart length, I stopped slitting. Now I went ahead to fold the waist dart and used a tip to secure the waist dart properly. Alright guys, you can see how simple this method is. And the next step is to place the template on my fabric to cut out both the front piece of the skirt and the back piece of the skirt. The total amount of fabric I used in making the skirt is 2 yards. So I folded the fabric into 2 to separate it into 2. So one of the yards is 36 inches which is 1 yard. So I'll be using this for the front piece, while the other yard, which is also 36 inches, would be used for the back piece of the skirt. Yeah, I noticed that when the pattern paper is not on the table, it changes the color of the fabric on my screen.
The next step is to fold the fabric in form of a triangle. Now I place the template on the main fabric, making sure that the waist circumference on the template is equal to the folded fabric at the top. Also take note that the hip side of your skirt should be on this side of the fold. So this satin skirt has a little flare on the bottom side. But if you want your flare to start from your hip region, then you should leave this opening on this side. But if you don't want the flare to start from the hip region, rather you want it to start from the bottom of your skirt, then you should close this opening. Obviously, you can see that the spacing is now smaller. The next important step is to make sure that the distance between the space opening on the M is 4 inches. So the flare can begin after the lower hip down to the bottom of the skirt. So here yeah, you would notice that this side of the skirt is actually short. But it doesn't affect my skirt length. So if you want your skirt length to be longer than my skirt length, it simply means that for your own skirt, you have to use a total amount of two and a half yards of fabric. Then you separate the two and a half yards into two. Use one part of the fabric for your front piece and use the second part of the fabric for the back piece, just the way I am doing mine now. The next step is to trim out the waist circumference. And to also trim out the sides of the skirt. So actually, the owner of the skirt uses the same body size measurements as mine. But since it's not for me, I was unable to wear the skirt for this tutorial. So one of my recommendations is that every lady should have this skirt because it came out very beautiful and classy. Now I will trim out the M of the skirt. Alright, so this is the front piece of the skirt. So this is the other piece that was cut out initially. I already folded it in form of a triangle. Then I placed the front piece directly on the fold to cut out my back piece. Alright guys, let's get started with the sewing process. I separated both the front piece and the back piece and placed the right side of both pieces directly on each other. Now I'll take the skirt to my sewing machine to secure this side of the skirt by one inch following the direction of the chalk. And because there'll be a side zipper on the skirt, from this top of the waist i measured a length of seven inches now from this point i measured seven inches i made a straight stitch downwards to the m and this would be the zipper opening on this side after stitching the sides of the skirt the next step is to attach an elastic band to the waist circumference to do this i would place the one inch elastic band directly on the right side of the fabric on the waist circumference to stitch by quarter of an inch all through. Please, while stitching, do not draw the elastic Alright, after stitching the elastic to the waistline, the next step is to fold in the elastic band inward making sure that 
half inch of the fabric on the waistline shows the way it is all right so now i'll take this to the sewing machine to stitch the edges of the elastic following the direction of the chalk After the elastic band has been properly secured, the next step is to turn the skirt to the right side of the fabric. So this opening here is for the zipper. For this kind of skirt, an invisible zip is always preferable. So I'll take this to the sewing machine to attach the invisible zip on the zipper opening. So the zipper has been properly secured and the final step is to secure the end of the skirt by folding it half inch in and further folding it in by half inch all through. Alright guys, so this is the final outcome of the skirt. I hope this tutorial was helpful. You should give it a try. And if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe, share and like my tutorials. Bye for now and see you in my next tutorial.